All right, counter punch boxing. Check it out, guys. I got a real quick update for you. Okay, I'm on my cell phone, as you can see. I'm setting up my uh, computer for the channel, but let's get right to it. Kovalev Ward. Okay, apparently. Now, you might recall if you watched an earlier video of mine, uh, Kovalev and uh, Andre Ward had the rematch clause, okay, the common security clause. I mean, that's in any standard boxing contract. It's called a common security clause, meaning in the event of a rematch, the rematch terms are pre-negotiated. They're already agreed upon, okay? You sign one contract and basically you're set for two fights in the event of a rematch. So, there is no need for any negotiations because when you sign the original contract, you agree to the split, the venue, the terms, everything. Now, things like the venue, that can change, okay? But as far as like the money, uh, you know, ring walk, all the details that they get into in a contract, it's all predetermined, so there there shouldn't be any kind of negotiations. The only thing there should be is getting in the ring. Now, Andre Ward put out a statement today and Kovalev uh, that they are in negotiations. So according to Klemus, which is uh, Kovalev's manager, he is currently talking with Rock Nation so they can get this thing done. Now, uh, Rock Nation, they've already reserved the Mandalay Bay June 17th, which that's great news, actually. You know, they, they've uh, secured Mandalay Bay for June 17th. You know, you have to pay a deposit, a, sec a security deposit. You have to put insurance down. I mean, it you know, it takes a lot to, to uh, secure a big venue like there. And, 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 and typically, a promoter is not going to do that and back out because if you back out, you lose money and a lot of money. I mean, you, you have to put up a big deposit, okay? It's just like renting a house, an apartment, or renting a, you know, vacation home, whatever, beach house. You know, you have to put up a security deposit. So, uh, the fact that they've rented the Mandalay Bay and put the deposit down for June 17th is very promising, okay? Now, right now, there is no agreement, okay? But this is what I don't understand. They're claiming that there is no agreement, but they've already made the agreement in the original contract. So, you know, I whatever but you know I, I, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna dig around a little bit more and uh, figure out exactly what's going on but as of right now they are negotiating and they even give you know June 17th given the the, the date Mandalay Bay HBO pay-per-view of course um, and you know I want to end on one thing okay let me throw that down I watched another video just a minute ago from a channel and you know, he, he was bringing up how Kovalev apparently called someone a monkey, okay? And how it's, you know, this racist thing that he called. And it was Adonis Stevenson, if I remember right. Now, if you remember, during the John Pascal press event, uh, Pascal brought that up and was calling Kovalev a racist because he called Adonis Stevenson a monkey or or something like that. But, but look, let me tell you what happened, what really happened there, okay? And, uh, and I'll make it quick. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Adonis Stevenson sent he sent some kind of tweet out or something like that, and in response, Kovalev uh, sent a picture of like a monkey eating a banana or something like that. And, and and you know, in America, that is considered very racist, right? I mean, and I agree, it is. Okay, I can't disagree with that. But where Ko you know where Kovalev is from, you know he's he's across the planet in a different you know culture, a different society. It's not this politically correct America where everyone is triggered and offended by each and every little thing. I mean the wind blows wrong and people are triggered and offended, and you've invaded their safe space and who they identify as and who they don't identify as and blah blah blah. Okay, so. Kovalev just meant it as a joke, as, as humor, like comedy, because over there, stuff like that is considered funny, okay? It's not considered racist. So that's the thing. I don't believe Kovalev is racist. I really don't. And, you know, so now you have these other channels uh, basically, you know, calling Kovalev a racist. And, and I just, I truly don't, I, I don't think he is. I and mean, there's no evidence pointing to that other than one stupid comment he made uh, or one tweet he sent out you know, a picture of a monkey, okay, and and it had some uh, comment towards Adonis Stevenson on it, but 
again, it was meant, uh, it was a bad attempt at humor, okay? It wasn't racism, it was a joke gone wrong, okay? Because Kovalev doesn't understand our sensitive, you know, far left society that we have here in America, okay? So, you know, but anyway, enough of that. I'm just, you know, it just really pisses me off that, you know, these other channels, they try to play your emotions, they try to turn you against Kovalev, especially if, if you know, if you're a black man. They try to turn you, turn the way you think. And, and, and just really play your emotions. That's what they do. They, they, they want you to side with Andre War. They want you to hate Kovalev. And they want you to subscribe to their channel. And they want you to give them clicks and make them money. So therefore, they're going to play to your emotions. So I don't, I don't like that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to keep on top of this. And if I, uh, you know, if I can uh, find any more information, I, I will definitely let, you, definitely let you guys know. Now, I, I will say one final thing. I... I believe, I mean, I could be wrong, but I think Andre Ward is negotiating with Rock Nation, not Kathy Duva and Main Event, because like I said, the common security clause is already a done deal. There's nothing to negotiate. So I don't understand why these channels are reporting that they are negotiating, because the negotiations are done. The negotiations were, were finalized when the first contract was signed.